Good day to you. I've been playing with uh, recursive drawing in a browser. There's no download, no installation required. I've had a couple of people ask if I could do a, one of my quickie tutorials. There's really nothing to tutorial. Um, when you go to this place, the, the front picture is the tutorial. It's very quick and simple. Well, it's a, it, it explains it all to you pretty well. but. Um, you only have the two shapes, the circle and the square, and what I like to do is make other shapes like the triangle and such, and I use them to play with, and I'm going to show you what I mean, I guess. Um, every time you hit this, this plus down here, you're going to open up another layer. Each of these layers is going to be very important. I'm going to draw the circle down first. I want to make my, uh, I'm going to make a triangle. Now, this needs to stay put. And I'm going to go to the next layer, and I'm going to drag this down to that layer each time. That way it's not doing a recursive thing. If I drag it from here, as you know, recursed. There you go. So this is how I am able to make different shapes to play with. And then I drag those shapes onto a new layer and play away. The hardest thing with the uh, triangle is getting all the sides the same size. There's no graph in here. There's no way to save. If you want to keep a picture, you'll need to screenshot. And yes, Snip works great for this, but I prefer my screenshots. Actually, I would prefer a save function as well as a load function so that I could like save one of these and reload it again next time I want to play with it instead of remaking it every time. Which brings me to browsers. If you're using Firefox, you're going to find that it is unstable with this program. For some reason, it will lock up, freeze. You're, you're going to lose everything that you were working on and have to start over before you're ready. Google, on the other hand, works great, and I would imagine that Edge does too, although I have not verified that. Now, I have the three shapes here that made up the triangle. Next layer, drag the triangle in, and it's now one consecutive piece, like the square and the circle. Whee. Now that circle or that triangle has a circle in the middle, and that became a shape. I'm going to make it recursive. Interesting. Make a heart. You can make flowers, you can make a star, anything that you can conceive of to make with stick figures, squares, and circles, or now even triangles, you can make and utilize as an individual item. It just takes a little bit of patience. And I'm still very lopsided over here. There we go, it's a little better. A lot of times I will have a scroll bar going on my left side out here. It, it, it gets ridiculous, but it really gets fun. And I get to save a lot of interesting patterns and pictures and so forth. Now, at the corners, you can move. Um, you grab the dark red here, the edges, and you grow it and shrink it. So try whatever you do when you do make something, try to make it large enough to be able to grab the center, center area, or else you're going to end up with, um, I don't know, some kind of accident like this. This is the kind of thing that kept killing my Firefox. <laughs> um, Whee! Yeah, it gets it can get out of control on you there. 
the first several days that I was playing with this, it was killing my hand because I was holding the mouse so tight. Didn't need to do that, but hey, it happens. I wasn't the only one having problems with the out-of-control spirals. <laughs> I want one of these going the other way. I'm pushing in and to the right. Make it little antennae. going to be exactly the same, but they'll be close enough, and besides, I don't know that I would want them to be uniform, not for what I have in, in mind. Whatever you do, don't take your original. Anything you do to the original is going to happen to anything that you've created with that original, so... It's best to just forget about it until you have to drag it around again. Drag a piece off of it. Hopefully you won't have to. all works according to plan, you'll also find in the description a link to a Facebook group. It's a free, family-friendly group. It's a place where if you need help trying to learn to do something in one of your art programs or whatever, you have a question, anyone who knows how to do that is, is there to help um, and give advice. And we're just basically all there to help one another. I'm sure there's a lot out there like that. Oh, didn't mean to grab that twice. I'm going to recurse it. Neat. Wow. Nope. There we go again. Out of control. <laughs> Wee! Hey! That was cool. Oh, I like it. digging this one. I'm going to have to make this one again. Whee! Whoa. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, yeah! <laughs> there it is. Okay. Um, so, that's that. <laughs> that. get a screenshot of that so this is what I do and that's how I do it and let me tell you this is a lot of fun now I'm gonna recurse the thing I just recursed because it's an object or picture all on its own we oh that's interesting might be a bit much Wow. 
It's a busy little thing, isn't it? Trying to pose it. I guess it's just going to have to be a little further out than I would like. And screenshot. So there you have it. That's how it works, folks. I did to it there and changed it it changed it everywhere so now I've got a, a mess for a conglomerate <laughs> hey. and uh, there you have it so I hope this has been helpful to you um, really I'm just I'm babbling because I don't know what to say you just have to practice it Recursive drawing. It looks a lot like fractals to me. Neat. Okay. Y'all take care. Catch you later.